changes. Well lads, how's it going and welcome back to another Factions episode. Now, today, since I've been doing a lot of raiding, PvP and all that kind of jazz, I thought I'd just change it up a bit and I would show you, like, I'd put into all, all in one video how I find bases and just everything. Like, I know you know them all, but, and there's, and, well, you might not know all of them, but at least I put it all into one video, because I haven't put them all into one video at the moment. So hopefully this video will be really helpful. I hope it will. Um, but before we get into that, if we could aim for 2,000 likes, that would be amazing. You guys are going ham on the support recently. I really appreciate it. And if you hit that like button, I will reward you with something my best. So hit that like button. I'll do it. I'm Look, I'm still wearing a Christmas hat. Still wearing a Christmas hat. But anyway, guys, enjoy the lovely episode. Okay, so right. I haven't really done a video in a while where I've kind of sh just showed you like loads of tactics and what to do for finding bases and stuff like that. Like, I haven't really done a video like that before. So I thought I'd change up the faction episode today and I'll just show you what to, what you should do when you're searching for bases. Um, like, And this is strictly for unclaimed bases because if you want to find, if you don't know, if you want to find claim bases, all you have to do is stick F map on. But everyone knows that. But um, yeah, as if you guys watch my channel, you probably found that I'm pretty good at finding unclaimed bases. I that's my thing. I love to find unclaimed bases. It's it's a, it's a good challenge to do. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm in this video. I'm just gonna show you like a load of things that I like. You should look out for what you need to do, what you need to bring, and just show you how like the best way to find bases. So um yeah, if you notice, know if you guys know these tactics and stuff like that, you might already. But I've never really put them all into one video. Um. I don't know, just you might watch something, you might find something useful here, but um, here we go, right, so if you go and searching for bases, the first thing you want to do is you're going to need speed pods. These things will make it so much more enjoyable. They really will. They really, really, really will. So that'll make it much more enjoyable. So take your speed pods, you want all your speed pods. Ooh. Okay, so that's what we want. Alright, so on my server, for example, I have donators get slash night vision. Um, but if you're not a donator, take some night vision parts because you never know. If you go into the ocean, you're definitely going to need night vision parts. And sometimes they might come in handy for digging around. You're going to want a decent pickaxe and you're also going to want some wood. Uh, the wood is for if you get stuck, you need to craft some, or mainly for crafting boats. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go to a random home and I'm going to show you how we can do this. Right, so as you can see, I'm at my searching home, home S. Now it's always good to set a home S pretty much like e like, like this, just E set home S. Just have a spare home set as S so that when you stop searching for bases, say you get bored, say you don't find any bases at all, you get bored, you know, you might want to take a break for a bit, just set your home S and continue searching here. Don't start from like random places because what some people do I find when they're searching for bases, they go back to the same spot and they search again. Like they have to run through all the spots where they just pretty much ran through. So it it just saves time and then that means you know you've covered this chunk of the map in a way and that's what I try to do. I try to cover each section of the map and then I go back to the other side of the map later on. But um, so anyway, this is a place where I've like searched around and stuff. So this is actually a random home. So this is where I was last searching pretty much. And all right, so and like the first tactic is and this is the entity tactic, right? So what you need to do, this is the best tactic currently right now in Minecraft raiding, I think. So, you know, if you don't know his tactic, you should. So anyway, all you need to do is open up F F3 and run around. And what you need to look at is this thing right here. I don't know if you can see my mouse. I hope you can. But it's called, it's entities and um, zero, you look at the E line and zero is the entities you're looking at and three is the entities you can't see. So for example, like if I chuck this out, if I chuck this speed part out, that's an entity and then... Look, I can actually see that entity, so it's coming up as one. So the first line is the entities you can see. The second line is the entities you ca um, you can't see. So how this tactic works is that there will always be one entity in each um, chunk. I don't know why there is, but there always is. I don't know. I think it's actually you. I think a player is an entity. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that one, but I think it is. So, um, for example, if I keep running along here and the entities shoot up to like 10 or 15, that means there's probably a base around here. Uh, but you've also got to make sure that it isn't mobs, like, like say, cows up on the surface, or it isn't mobs on the ground. So if it's a lot, and, like, you know, let's say there's, like, 25 entities in one chunk, 
that probably means there's probably a base there. And if it's fluctuating a lot, like going up and down, you've definitely found a base. And if it's sometimes staying still and there's a lot of entities, it could be item frames. So it could be a sky base as well. So make sure to check sky if it is. So like this is pretty much the best tactic for raiding right now. It's honestly the best. I've seen so many YouTubers are doing it now. It's just insane the amount of YouTubers are doing it now. And like just everyone, like it's so up. So this is the one you want to do. Okay, so the next tactic you're going to want to look out for is the sheep tactic. And what this shows is a active chunk. So for example, if I came across an area with loads of sheep and I started seeing this pattern of like dirt, uh, grass being eaten. And there's a lot of it. If there's two or three, probably not an active trunk. But if there's a ton of it in an area, that means there's probably a base somewhere within this area. Like that means someone has been active. Because if you don't know, for example, um, if a sheep is here and I and he's just eating grass and he's moving around right now. And then suddenly I go to move, like I run away from this chunk. So wait, wait for a second. When the chunk despawns. The sheep will actually stop moving. The sheep won't move until you go back into that chunk again. So obviously what that means, if someone's living there, the sheep are always moving around, eating grass, all that kind of stuff. So that means it's active and you can clearly see that because of these little patterns right here. So when this does happen, the best thing you want to do, and this is, I used, what I used to do, I used to dig down at like random spots. Or I used to dig down and I used to just dig around like a bedrock and then, and then around like um then go up to the middle kind of level, dig around there, and then close to the surface level. But what I find that works better is that if you just say, okay, right, so this is an active chunk. Let's just say this is an active chunk. I actually put them down, by the way, guys. But I said, let's say this is an active chunk. You know, oh, let's break this. Uh, let's dig all the way down the bedrock from there. I know it's always dangerous digging down, but YOLO. Yeah, YOLO. And then dig down over here, and then do the same, and then come back up, dig down over here. You know, just dig around the area. I, th I find it's way faster and just way more efficient. Uh, or unless, you know, if you're with a group of friends, which is, this is what, this is the best tactic if you're with a group of friends, um, just dig around like crazy people, I say. Right, so the next tactic is the night fishing tactic. Now, this tactic still works, but not to a degree like it doesn't really work as much anymore so what you want to do is you want to get a boat you want to find an ocean uh, sometimes I used to, well I used to use this tactic when I got lazy because all you had to do was sit in a boat and sail around the place but it doesn't seem to work as much anymore but it, it, it occasionally does work so this is where you need your night fishing pots pretty much so look as you see if I'm in the water right now I cannot see at all I can't see underneath the ocean and what some people tend to do when they make sky bases or underground bases when they're building in the ocean is they leave the blocks behind because they kind of think people can't see them and sometimes they get lazy. So usually you find sky bases with this, by the way. But um, so if I drink my night vision part, let's say I'm drinking my night vision part, I actually have a uh, command for it. But there we go. Drink it. Look, we can see under the ocean. So we can see, for example, if, say, if you find cobblestone under there, that means probably someone's built a base. And... You know, like I said, this tactic doesn't always work, but um, some people do make mistakes and stuff. Um, so you will sometimes just find like bits of cover. But you really, when you're using this tactic, you also really got to keep a lookout for like holes like that. You kind of got to just inspect them and make sure that's not cobble because, you know, gravel and cobble can really, can look really alike. So yeah, make sure you're really keeping an eye out. And then just to do with oceans, another little thing is that if someone say, someone has um, a boat, like if you just find, if you're out in the ocean, and you're pretty far out, say, and there's a boat just sitting there like that, just randomly sitting there like that, dig down and tower up. You will be surprised the amount of people that leave boats behind, they forget to break them. I think, I don't know why, they get lazy? I don't know, but dig down, dig up, just directly under the boat and go up, dig up, that doesn't make sense, but I also tower, tower up and check the sky. You'll be surprised, you'll be surprised guys, how many people actually leave clues. Okay, so talking about clues, this is a big one, and this is one I go by, and I used to go by other than the end. Well, I used to now I use mostly the entity tactic, but um, is checking everything. If you're really far out and you're away from spawn, check everything. So, for example, obviously I I've made this for you guys. So if you walk along here, right, and you've noticed nothing for a while, and then you notice just cobblestone just sitting like there, there, and then also there, you should always just dig down and tower up. Just really quickly dig down, tower up. And hopefully you'll find something. Because what does this mean? This means that a player's been here. It's an active chunk. They could have built a base. You'll be surprised how many people like leave like stuff on the surface. And their base is down below. So, you know, you might dig down right there and just tower up right there. So, it's an active chunk. It means someone's been here. You're pretty far out. 
someone's been doing something here. So there might be something left behind. It might not always be a base, could be a chest. You never know what it could be. A good thing to do when you actually find these sometimes would be if you really, really can't be bothered uh, searching, you could just stick the F3 tactic on and just see does it spike up. So you could do that and actually see, okay, is there a lot of entities here? But just remember that the entity tactic does not really find vaults. It only finds kind of farms. It will not find a vault or like a chest vault or anything like that because obviously chests aren't entities unless they have item frames there. So just remember that. So if you're looking for vaults, you've got to really use the clue tactic really. Like just look for clues and stuff, everything. Just check everything. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say here. So like pretty much they're all the tactics that I really use right now. And then also just in mind, Joel, I was just talking about the speed pots. Obviously for the speed pots, just be drinking them as you're doing these tactics. It just speeds it up. You can like run through the world really quickly. You know, you can search everything quickly and it just makes it 10 times better. Uh, I know if you don't have a speed pots, then I guess you don't need speed pots, but I will, <laughs> they're a must for me because it speeds up everything. But like with this tactic, you know, with the F3 tactic, I would just say use that right now because that's, that's, that's hot on factions right now. Like everyone is using that. It is epic, but I just... It's it's actually too up in all honesty, and I know these aren't all the tactics But these are currently all the tactics that I really use I know some people have crazy tactics where they leave like furnaces in areas And then they see does it smell when it come back and stuff. There's loads of crazy tactics Um, you can do them you can look them up and um, and leave your tactics down below if you have any cool ones that you find bases with and um, Yeah, and that's pretty much all that's pretty much everything So I thought I'd change this faction episode up a little bit and um, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you guys in the next one. If we aim for like a thousand likes, that'd be absolutely amazing as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one.